first date of follow-up. Powered by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. Online at AdvocatesLaw.com. Mac is on the phone today for our first date follow-up, and he's getting ghosted by a girl named Becca. So in a few minutes, we'll call her and see if she'll tell us why she's ghosting him and maybe get him another date. But first, Mac, how long has it been since you heard from Becca? It's been about a week uh, since I've heard from her. Have you tried to reach out to her? Yeah, several times. You know, texting, and uh, left a voicemail, nothing. So what was the last interaction you had with her like? Uh, it was good. We we went on a date. We met on Hinge, and then we uh, we went to this like little, um, kind of like a little quiet romantic uh, dinner, white cloth type place. I, I like to go out. She's more of a homebody. So after dinner, we went back to her place, and you know we had some wine. You know, we didn't hook up or anything, but, like, I spent the night. Okay. And then everything went great. Did you guys and sleep, then, like, in the same bed? Yeah, but nothing happened. Like, we didn't we didn't hook up, like, because we were really into each other. We both were like, you know, just, you know agree to, like, take a little slower because this is, this is something good, you know? So, yeah, I just, I'm really confused. Did you guys, like, make out, though? Like, did you cuddle? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, okay. Like, we, <laughs> well, it's important. Okay, so that part happened. So it's a very mutual attraction as well. Right. Did anything happen on the date that was like, I don't know, weird, awkward? Not that I could think of. Like, it just, everything went really well. And, like, I, I know when, when you know, I could be awkward or something happens. Like, I've had bad dates or whatever, but this doesn't seem to fall in that category. So I, you know, I thought everything was going really well. Like, we really hit it off. How were things when you said goodbye to her? Uh... Being fine, you know, it seemed like we would, uh, like we were going to see each other again. So did you stay there the whole night? Like, did you see each other in the morning or did you slip out? No, I, I uh, well, actually I left a note on her pillow. Like I, I slipped out, you know, cause she was still asleep and like I had to get up early, go to work and I didn't want to wake her up. So like I left her a note. Okay. Well, that's What'd cute. What'd your note say? <laughs> I just, that I had a really great time and looking forward to seeing you again. Okay, th- um, then did you talk to her after that? Oh, yeah, we did have a conversation. Oh, okay. Uh, I did, we were hanging up, I said I love you jokingly, but like, I hope that oh. didn't like, scare her off. Okay. I mean, okay. Joke. Mac, you could have started there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the first date. I mean, some people would really enjoy that kind of a joke, because you're like, ah, you're on the right track, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do when you said that? She just laughed. And you told her it was a joke? Yeah, like I said, I was like, love you. Like, it was like a joke. Like, but you yeah. think maybe that could have been the, like, pause. Oh, I hope she knows it was a joke. How was her laugh? Was it like, ha, 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 or, ha, 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 ha. Oh, a difference. <laughs> no, it was more like a genuine. It was like, okay. Cause, I mean, we laughed together before, and, like, it seemed like a genuine laugh. Well, we'll try to figure it out for you. We'll play a song, come back, and then call her and see if she'll tell us why she's ghosting you and maybe get you another date, okay? All right, cool, man. Thanks, guys. Okay, we'll play a song, come back, and get your first day follow-up next. Right in the middle of your first day follow-up, if you're just joining us, Mac is on the phone, and he's getting ghosted by a woman named Becca, so we're about to call her and see if she'll tell us why she's ghosting him. But before we do that, Mac, why don't you catch us up on your situation? Yeah, uh, we met on Hinge. We went on a date. Uh, everything was going really well. We went back to her place, had some wine. I stayed the night. We didn't, like, hook up or anything, but we did make out. Like, you know, it was definitely some chemistry there. And uh, when I left, I left her a note, you know, like I didn't want to wake her up, so I just left her a note on the pillow. I uh, talked to her the following day. Everything seemed fine, and then... Just haven't heard from her since. You did tell her that you loved her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, as a joke. But, like, she knew it was a joke. Like, I was joking. But okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see if that's it or if it's something else. Are you ready to call her? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Becca, please? This is she. Hi, Becca. How are you? My name is Jubal. I'm calling from a radio show called The Jubal Show. Hi, Becca. I'm Nina, also on the show. Hi, and I'm Victoria. 
Hi, hi, How are you? <laughs> What's up, girl? Good, thank you. What's going on? Not much. Have you listened to the show before? I have. I'm very familiar. Great. Well, thank we, you. We got an email about you from somebody. That's why we're calling. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. What? <laughs> well, this is a first date follow-up, the segment where if you go out with someone on a date and end up ghosting them, they can email us to get you on the phone and ask why you're ghosting them. And we got an email from a guy named Mac. Yeah, Mac. Okay. What did what did Mac have to say? <laughs> <laughs> that got real serious real yeah. fast. <laughs> he said that you're ghosting him. And he said that he liked you a lot. He thought you guys really bonded said that you guys snuggled on your first date mm-hmm. you didn't do you know all the way stuff instead <laughs> he did tell us that part that's but it was important it. <laughs> that's a weird way to say <laughs> it we just we're doing a chemistry check that's why we asked okay okay so i guess we'll just cut to it um i really liked him max seems like a really good guy um it was a great date i thought we were going somewhere i thought it had potential and then there was a phone call and we hung up and then like 20 minutes later he called me back. And so I answered the phone and I overhear him talking to somebody and I realized it's a butt dial. Oh, okay. And so he's talking to somebody and he's for a lack of better terms, very encouraging. He was saying things like that's it, baby. Just like that, baby. Oh, yeah, baby, just like that. Yes, yes. Um, oh, this is a right. butt dial to you? I'm hoping it was a butt dial, but and not him, like, intentionally wanting me to hear him say things to another woman. So I hung up because what else? I don't know what to do with that. Um, I was very upset because clearly he's not a good guy and he's a player. And fine, like, move on to the next one. Leave me alone. So How you, awkward. You, so you never so, told him that you heard that. No, I don't want to deal with him. That's icky. Who? I mean, yeah. He does something he does all the time. Oh, okay. So he just, I guess, I, I guess this is what he does. He like spends the night, and we had a great. I, I think he's just a player and a user, and gross. Like, no thanks. And this was like right after he left, pretty much. This, this was a more. So the next morning, he called me, okay. and we talked, and it was fine. And then twenty minutes later, you were like pumping. Or doing things with another woman, and then yeah. you call me? Like, are you out of your mind? I can understand why you're ghosting him then. Sure. Because yep. normally that's yeah, not like no a hot thing. move, you know? <laughs> no, that doesn't make me want you more. <laughs> no, I get that. Um, well, thank you for telling us that, Becca. Also, Mac is on the phone and wants to talk to you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Mac. I, I this cannot is believe. This is gross. <laughs> you can't believe. <laughs> this is gross. You spent the night at my house. We had a great date. I thought you right. had potential. And then you butt dial me or intentionally, who no. knows, while you're doing who right. knows what with who knows who. Like, is this a normal standard you, for you? It's I, gross. Can I, can I talk to you it's for one gross. second? gross. I, okay. I well, don't know what I you could possibly doing, say to me. Go ahead. I have a puppy. And she's been <laughs> sick. What? She hasn't been able to eat. And her, she's a little Maltese puppy named Baby. Oh. And she was finally starting to eat, and I was encouraging her. I'm like, come on, baby. There you go, baby. Good job. <laughs> Are like, you serious? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to text you a picture of Baby right now. Here you go. Are you serious? Yes, I have a puppy. I have a Maltese. <laughs> her name is Baby. Her name is Baby. Becca, does that sound <laughs> believable? Based on what you heard? <laughs> I want to, I need to see this photo. I just sent you, I, I just texted you a picture. <laughs> so funny. Oh I'm sorry. Gosh. I don't know. Jubal, can you see yourself doing that to Mr. Peeves, your dog? <laughs> yes, baby. Go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. Baby. I mean, I guess I would cheer him on if he was sick and he was finally eating. I, I would be cheering him on. Yeah, I just don't yeah. know how I would say it. I think he just sounds a little more <laughs> interesting because the dog is named baby. Right. I do remember him saying, get in there, baby. But I don't know. <laughs> Like, get in the food? Yeah, I was just really happy that she was eating. I was just trying to cheer on. She hadn't, she hadn't <laughs> eaten for, like, two days. So, so I was really happy that she was finally eating. I mean, if this is true, that's actually really that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I can confirm there is a very cute dog that has a name tag that says baby. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> well, that's awkward. But if that, I mean, that sounds like that's really what was going on. I am so embarrassed. I am so sorry. <laughs> I mean, in your defense, uh, Becca, I mean, how would anybody take that? Yeah. Yeah, it didn't sound good. But now, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, I'm so sorry. Becca, would you like to go on another date with Mac? We'll pay for it and you can meet baby. Yeah, okay. I'm, is that, a, yes, I would, is he open to that? <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, of course. That's why I was wondering what happened. Like, this is a huge misunderstanding. So I'm glad we got it cleared up. Like, I obviously would love to see you again. I don't have a girlfriend, I'm not a player. You do have to share me with baby, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Jubal's first date follow-up.